Now to a CBS4 security alert, privacy exposed. You may think nothing of giving out your phone number, but did you know someone can steal your identity with just that information just as easily as with your social security number? CBS4's Tiani Jones is here with this serious warning. Tiani. Well, I didn't know about For many of us, they're our lifelines. They hold our pictures, contacts, schedules. Some even act as a mobile wallet. That's why losing a device can feel devastating. All of your personal information in a stranger's hand. But what if I told you I don't need your actual device to get your private information? All I need is your cell phone number. Well, where do you get that information? I mean, I, well, I don't provide that when I give out my cell phone. But we do. Every time a business asks us for our phone number, you and we give it out. Do I have to? You don't have to, but you send you great offers. Take Walmart, for instance. Very few of their shoppers probably scroll to the bottom of their web page, click on the tiny tab labeled Privacy Policy, scroll some more, and click on another tab, which tells them how the company shares their personal information. Personal information like your cell phone number, which Walmart asks for when you shop online. You don't think twice, because you, you always do this. It's your information. You know, you, you, don't want, you don't want it to fall in the wrong hands, you know? Especially in this country where the credit really matters, you know? It's, it's a big issue. Here's the problem. Every state has a different law regarding personally identifiable information. Here in Florida, companies cannot share your social security number, your medical information, even your biometrics. But your cell phone number? Well, it's fair game. Every company is supposed to have a privacy policy that discloses what personally identifiable information the company is collecting from consumers what they're doing with that information, uh, who they're sharing it with, and how they're using it. Attorney Al Cykley is the chair of the privacy and data security practice of his law firm. He says companies are tracking our every move and we're giving them permission. Telephone number is not considered personally identifiable information under the law. So technically, there's not a legal obligation to protect that information. Companies use your cell phone to track your spending habits. They also use it as your mobile identity. But this information in the wrong hands can lead to identity theft just as easily as your social security number. Still not convinced that your cell phone number holds your most private information? Well, I sent my private cell phone number to a private eye. He sent me back five pages of personal information that include my social security number, my date of birth. He even had the address of my parents who live in Colorado. That's actually crazy. I never thought something like that could happen. I'm shocked. There are options to protect your private information, like the Sideline app, which assigns you a second phone number to your cell. You can dial and receive calls and texts without having to give out your real cell number. While we wait for laws to change, the advice, treat your cell phone number with the same care as your social security number. They always tell you, listen, this is the most important thing you have to protect. And now it happens to be that it's my cell phone number as well. Experts say there needs to be a federal law that includes cell phone numbers, and some lawmakers agree, but every time it comes up in Congress, it fails. Rick? All right. Good information, Tiani. Thank you.